Hi guys, this video is going to be all about Venn diagrams and two-way tables. Now Venn diagrams and two-way tables are really excellent tools to visually display uh, information data uh, involved in a probability experiment. Okay, so here we have a Venn diagram. This is a basic Venn diagram. You'll have your uh, circles that have some of your data in it, they tend to overlap. And then you have your rectangle around them that contains all of the data in it. Okay, so how this actually works. How all this works, the whole box itself is the whole group of elements inside of the experiment. So that's the whole uh, group of elements. Each circle each circle will represent a subgroup of those uh, elements from the whole. So each circle is just its own little portion of the whole a lot of information. The outside part of the circle So the outside part of the circle, that's the bit that's inside the box but outside the circle, is the elements or the, is the subgroup of elements that are not included in the other two. Or it's the subgroup not included subgroup not included in the two or in the main subgroups. Because occasionally these subgroups, uh, there could be more than two of them, there can be three of them. Uh, generally speaking with Venn diagrams, we don't get past three. So that's what we're looking for. So let's use this Venn diagram now to sort of display uh, an example of what Venn diagrams look like. So let's say we have a group of 100 people. So we've got a group of 100 people and that's going to be represented by this diagram. So here we're going to survey 100 people. We're going to ask them if they like Mac computers versus PCs. Okay, and this Venn diagram represents the results. Alright, so inside of our inside of our circle here, we're going to choose one of those circles to represent the subgroup of Mac users. On the other circle, we're going to make that our PC users. And then in the middle is going to be those that like both and then outside the ones that don't like either. Okay, so our Mac users, there are 31 of that 100 people that will only use Macs. 31 of the 100 only want to use Macs. Then the PC, there were 50 people that only wanted to use PCs. In the middle, we had 12 people that liked using both. And then on the outside, we had 7 people who didn't like using either Macs or PCs. 
I guess they may have been either Chromebook users or they like using pen and paper. Now to make sure that this all adds up correctly, we just get the sum of these four numbers. And we add up to 100. And that's how a Venn diagram will work. Let's have a look now at two-way tables. Two-way tables. As you may have guessed, two-way tables are exactly that. They show two bits of information on our table. Or they show multiple bits of information. Okay, so they, they show two groups as it were. So if we were to use our Venn diagram information from before, we're going to pop that into this table and show how it all works together. Okay, so I still need my Mac users. Okay, so I'm going to put them down the side and have Mac users here and then people who don't use Macs. So it's Mac versus no Mac in this, on this side. Okay. So over here we have Mac users versus not Mac users. Okay. Across the top, we're going to do the same thing, but this time with our PC. So PC, not PC. And again, this is going to be our PC users versus our not PC users. All right, so we're going to encompass all of that information into one thing. Now, you can see there I have another row and another column that don't have anything in them yet. That's because these are going to be our totals. Right, so we're going to total each column and we're going to total each row and get a big total at the end. Okay. So let's pop that information back in. So our Mac users, well, we had uh, Mac and PC users. Mac and PC users. That's our little intersection here is going to be 12. So that's our intersection. So where the columns and rows intersect, that's going to be that particular piece of information. So Mac users who don't use PC, there's 31 of those. PC users who don't use Macs, well, there's 50 of those. And how many were left over? Well, that was seven. Okay, so there's all our numbers from the previous one. Next thing we need to do is we need to add everything up. So if we add across and down, okay? So each column, each row gets added together. So 12 and 50, well, that's 62. 31 and 7, well, that's 38. Then 12 and 31, that's 43. And 50 and 7 is obviously 57. Now, we're not quite done. We're going to make sure, double make sure that we've got all our numbers correct by adding around that way as well. Okay? So 43 and 57, well, that's 100. 62 and 38 is also 100. So we get some big ticks there. Okay? So we have our totals there. But the bottom row in our last column adds up to 100. So we have our 100 just there. So they're all of our people. And that is how we get information into a two-way table. In the next video, we'll go through an example.